Joining me now, New York Post columnist Carol Markowitz. Carol, um, always great to see you and to get your take on the latest in this saga. Um, there were a lot of possibilities in Connell's report there. Uh, this timeline is very uncertain at the moment. Um, your thoughts on how this process is going, extraditing SBF from the Bahamas back here to the United States. It doesn't seem like it's, it's seamless. So there's a lot we don't know, obviously, but he is supposed to leave the Bahamas tonight, according to multiple reports, and we'll see if he turns up in court in New York in the morning. I think the question about whether or not he'll have a similar uh, bail situation to Bernie Madoff is a good one. I think it probably he probably will. I can't imagine that they're going to just let him loose and uh, let him try to escape or run away. Um, I, I imagine he's going to get the same house arrest with the same uh, ankle bracelet situation that Madoff had, which is still kind of, you know, a, a pretty nice situation for somebody who did what he did. Mm. Yeah, no, um, it, it is actually. Uh, you would uh, anticipate that um, most people that are victims of the fraud that uh, he allegedly committed yeah. would think that he should, the better place for him right now would be to, to sit in jail while he waits um, for right. his trial. But having said that, there's been a lot of question about um, the campaign finance donations as well. Should they be clawed back? Um, you know, uh, should they be returned? In the case of Madoff, and I make this comparison because it's, I, I find the, the two cases similar in some ways, people got their initial investment back. They didn't get their, their paper returns back, their, right. what they thought that they had made with Bernie Madoff, but they got their initial investment. In the case of Sam Bankman-Fried, many of these people will get nothing back. They will get nothing at all. Um, right. And so I, even some of that yeah. money that went in donation money could, could help them. Absolutely. And I think all the politicians who took money should be forced to return it. I think that they, you know, have some responsibility uh, to see who they're taking money from and to see where they got that money. It's, it is part of the po responsibility of being a public official. So I think, yeah, I think a lot of the politicians or organizations that received his funding should be at least pressured into giving it back yeah. as all these people are going to lose this money because, you know, it was spent in this really ridiculous way. Carol, while I have you, we've had so many conversations about your move from New York to Florida for various yeah. reasons. Um, but now here in New York City, New York, uh, New York City Mayor, uh, Mayor Adams, is now highly urging, it's not a mandate, but mm -hmm. urging people to mask up again as we head into, um, you know, the peak of cold and flu and COVID season. Um, Want to know your thoughts on that, that this is still happening almost three years later even Unreal. when we have remedies in place and treatments yeah. and hospitalizations are down, um, this just continues in this blue right. state. And frankly, not a single study that showed that masking helps prevent the spread of COVID, which is really the important part here. It's amazing to me that the mayor showed up for this press conference to announce this wearing a mask. Um, half of my Instagram for the last week had the mayor partying all over New York City. He went yeah. to a number of Hanukkah parties, maskless, you know, not wearing any mask. But then he shows up to give this announcement in a mask. And it's just, I, I'm, I can't believe that New Yorkers are not over this theater yet. And I can't believe that they're not, you know, rising up and saying we're not going to stand for this. Some of us are over it. Um, but I have I to tell you, Carol, <laughs> as, as, as I stayed here when you didn't, I will tell you um, <laughs> that I run into loads of people on the streets of New York City that that drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah, you know, they, know. They, they buy oh. into it and they are they're masking up and they're double masking, as a matter of fact. Um, I know. Jackie, there's always space for you in Florida. Come on down. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I would love to, especially as this bomb cyclone is on the way. Carol Markowitz, always great to see you. Thank you.